Now, another nation in West Africa that enjoys strong relations with Israel is Ivory Coast. Since 1900, that country has lost 90% of its forest cover. The main cause, the extensive cultivation of cocoa. This agricultural country being the world's largest producer of what's called brown gold. Now, as the UN Climate Change Conference convenes in Glasgow, and experts warn of forest loss in Africa, our correspondent Pierre Kloshandler visited a tropical forest in Ivory coast that is in the midst of rehabilitation and reforestation efforts. Within a hundred years, this country of farmers has lost three quarters of its forest cover. In 120 years, 90 percent. At this rate, within 10 years, Ivorian forests will have disappeared, affecting people and their environment, warns the water and forests minister. The first cause is agriculture. Côte d'Ivoire is the world's largest producer of cocoa. The planters destroyed the forest for the sake of extensive cocoa plantations. This constitutes 60 percent of the causes of deforestation. Hunting fires are prohibited. Apart from forest crime, with poaching, bushfires and trafficking in rare species and timber, wood cooking and urban pressure are factors of degradation. More than half of the Ivorian population lives in cities. 8 to 11 million people reside in Abidjan. No one knows exactly how many. We've committed to rehabilitating 20% of the forest cover within 10 years. Between now and 2030, we need to increase the cover from 10 to 20%. We'll need to reforest about 3 million hectares. We'll get there. We're fully there. Escorted by this water and forests officer, we explored the Engededu classified forest located on the edge of Abidjan. Its 8,500 hectares of land area are cut in two by the highway which serves the north of the country. The national imperative is to save what's left. The objective, to reforest and raise awareness, to exploit and produce, yes, of course, but without destroying. This public woodland benefits from an intensive reforestation effort. 20,000 sow seedlings erected in this wet nursery will be transplanted this year. 60,000 more shoots are to be added next year. We must mobilize the seeds, raise these seeds to plants. Then we proceed to field preparation activities. That's to say, bush clearing, picketing, hole digging. In this area, reforestation was carried out using an agroforestry system. We've put the sow, a fast-growing species, who comes to cohabit with agricultural speculations. Cassava, banana trees, corn, beans. This plot was put in place in 1995. The forest here is almost reconstituted. It really gives the appearance of an original forest. There you have the umbrella tree, which is a pioneer species. It means the forest is being reconstituted. You can see the undergrowth, which is really rich in biodiversity. So now we go to the reforestation area. You see? The spacing here doesn't allow for sustainable production of agricultural speculations. But in areas where we know that the agricultural production must be permanent, there's a low spacing, at most 30 stems per hectare, because you need the sun. In the heart of these venerable humid forests, workers load ornamental species intended for urban planning. Sacred, archaic, primal, original trees regenerate themselves into green lungs so that mankind and forests cohabit in harmony. Pierre Kloschendler, I-24 News, Angededu Classified Forest, Côte d'Ivoire.